Today's topic is vocal cord paresis and paralysis. Vocal cord paresis and paralysis is a condition that results in the inability of one or both vocal cords to move. This condition occurs when there is an abnormal nerve impulse to the laryngeal muscles, voice box muscles, resulting in paresis or paralysis of the vocal cord muscles. Paresis is the partial loss of nerve impulse, resulting in abnormal or weak movement of the laryngeal muscles. Paresis and paralysis affects the ability to sing, speak, swallow, and even breathe. This happens because the vocal cords do more than just produce sound. They also protect the airway by preventing materials such as food, drink, and saliva from entering the windpipe and causing you to choke. In most cases, only one vocal cord is affected. In rare cases, both vocal cords can be affected, leading to serious conditions. This can cause severe vocal difficulties and serious problems with breathing and swallowing, and even sometimes death. This condition can happen at any age in both males and females. Causes Known causes may include neck or chest trauma. The nerves that serve the vocal cord may be injured from a trauma to your neck or chest. Nerve damage during surgery. Surgical procedure carried out on your neck or upper chest can cause damage to the nerves that serve your voice box. A surgical procedure that carries such risk factor may include surgeries to the thyroid, neck, chest, and esophagus. Stroke. Blood flow may be interrupted in the brain as a result of a stroke. This may damage the part of the brain that sends messages to the voice box. Viral infections. Nerves in the larynx may be damaged due to inflammation from viral infections, such as herpes and Lyme disease. Tumors. Cancerous and non-cancerous tumors can grow around nerves and squeeze them, resulting in various degrees of paralysis and paresis. Some neurological conditions, such as multiple sclerosis or Parkinson's disease, may predispose an individual to the condition. Symptom. Symptoms may include hoarseness, loss of vocal pitch, noisy breathing, frequent throat clearing, ineffective coughing or sneezing, inability to speak loudly, choking while swallowing food, drink, or saliva, breathy voice. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor may review your medical history. This may reveal any underlying condition that may cause the condition. The doctor will then ask questions about symptoms, lifestyle, as in voice use, tobacco and alcohol use, after which an examination of your voice box may be conducted to determine whether one or both vocal cords are abnormal. This will help to know the treatment method to use. The following test may be performed. Voice evaluation to assess voice quality and performance. Laryngoscopy. Laryngeal electromyography that measures the electric currents in your voice box muscles, the larynx muscles. Blood tests and scans may be used as an additional test to identify the underlying diseases that may cause your condition. Scans may include MRI or CT scans of the chest, neck, the base of the skull, and the brain. Breathing test. Treatment. Treatment depends on the causes, the severity of the symptoms, and how long symptoms have been present. Treatment may include voice therapy and surgery or both. Voice therapy sessions may involve activities to strengthen your vocal cords, protect your airway, liquids and solids, swallowing, improve breath control during speech, and prevent unusual tension in the other muscles that surround the affected cord. Surgical interventions may be recommended if the patient does not recover completely with voice therapy. Surgical options may include bulk injection, structural implants, vocal cord repositioning, and tracheotomy. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.